Have you ever taken a shower that's so hot it feels kind of cold? Have you ever touched ice and burned yourself? And why does it feel like cold hurts? Our body's perception of temperature is really weird, and understanding it is even more complicated. But today we're going to discuss how our body perceives temperatures and why the feelings aren't always accurate. Our bodies have an entire system of receptors in our skin, muscles, bone, and more called the somatosensory system. When the receptors receive a signal, they send the information through our nerves and into our brains. Our brains receive the signal and then try to make sense of what the receptors are telling it. These receptors react to hot, cold, pressure, pain, chemicals, orientation, and more. Our brains interpret the outside world based on the combination of all these different receptors with our other senses. So basically, our brain is freaking amazing. All the feelings that we feel are just a giant pile of electricity and chemicals in our brains. I know I'm getting a little bit deep, but that's pretty gosh darn amazing if you ask me. So how the heck do we feel temperature? Well, sadly, it's not fully understood. Yet. But we'll try and give you the basic idea. There are a few different types of receptors that react to temperature. Free nerve endings, thermoreceptors, and nociceptors are some of the main ones that help us feel temperature. Some respond to heat, some to cold, and some to both. And that's where feelings can sometimes get a little bit weird. On top of that, different receptors also respond at different speeds. Certain neurons respond quickly with a danger feeling, while others respond kind of slow with more accurate representation of the temperature. The speed at which the information travels ranges anywhere from about 1 meter per second up to 100 meters per second. So we have a lot going on as far as receptors go. They're really, really complicated. But we do have thermoreceptors, and those are fairly well understood. First of all, these receptors are relative, not absolutes. And I'll have a really nice experiment for you guys. Link down in the description down there. Cold receptors are more prevalent than warm receptors. In fact, there's about 10 times more cold receptors than warm, warm receptors in our bodies. Weirdly enough, some cold receptors can also respond to high temperatures, which is why hot things can sometimes feel kind of cold. This is known as the paradoxical response to heat. Cold receptors also react much faster than hot receptors because the cold receptors have myelinated axons. Again, I'll have another experiment for you guys to try at home in the description down there. So hopefully now you understand how your body's somatosensory system helps you understand what temperature it is. If this video did help you out, make sure you press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.